welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by please subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time i post a new video today i'm going to be doing a tarot reading for you predictions for the month of may 2020 i've meditated on the cards and i've asked the universe the angels and the spirit guides for some messages for you and I have four cards indicating each week of May. Okay, Leos, let's start with the first week. In the first week with the Queen of Swords, I see uh, a mother figure in your life. Mm, it can be your mother, your partner's mother, um, another person, mainly a female, that, that it's in a place of authority, a place of um more like a mother figure um for you in your life the queen of swords is very practical it's very analytical you're gonna feel uh she she can be a little judgy she can be um very assertive she can be she is gonna tell you what she thinks without without caring too much about hurting your feelings or uh, being too rushed she can be rush um, harsh she can uh, she can also but it's, she's very assertive and she goes by she always goes by facts it's not so much about emotions she goes about she she mostly talks about facts and and she has gained all this knowledge all this uh, wisdom through experience through hard things that have happened to her in the past and that's how she's gained this this knowledge so she's gone through a lot uh, so that has that has kind of made her um, not so empathetic towards other people and other people's problems because of everything that she's been going through in her life and this person is going to have the main theme during the first week is going to be uh, your relationship leo with the queen of with the queen of swords and your 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 interaction with her so you you might be feeling attacked from this from this person from this queen of swords you might feel uh overwhelmed for her she might she can possibly be an air sign so a libra a gemini or or an aquarius and uh you might feel attacked many times and judged and like she's just watching over you and um having a say on everything you do and you're feeling you're feeling judged and you're feeling analyzed on every single move that 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 you're doing at this time in, in the first week of May, Leo. In the second week of May, I can see with the Six of Pentacles in reverse that some of you Leos um, are going to want to leave their home. Uh, if, if you're still li living with your parents or with your in-laws or your, your childhood home where you grew up, you are so ready to leave at this time you feel like you um you're ready you're mature enough you can handle it um uh, you you just want you you want the uh, you want to leave the memories behind good or bad you just want to leave them behind and you want to move you you want to move to a fresh start uh you want to move out of your home you want to start your life over and if we see in a relationship with the Queen of Swords, um, the Queen of Swords is is going to be it's going to affecting you, especially during this first two weeks for you to want to make this decision, for you to for your desire to leave home to um, to affect you so much that you you're thinking about it constantly, and. Um, also with a with the queen of swords i'm getting the message that you probably are living under the same roof with this person 
that's why you're feeling that heavy burden of living with this person that is so analytical, so judgmental towards towards anything that you do, that at this point you just want to spread your wings and go and start your life over and start fresh. Also, I see in the third week, the third week of May, we have the Six of Swords in reverse, which means that uh, you're not ready yet. You're not ready to leave. You're not um, things. Think you feel you feel trapped. You feel like if you say anything, you're rocking the boat, and arguments are starting and uh, problems and every and um, you you feel like you can't really say anything. You can't complain about anything. You can't get a your point across to anybody because you you will be rocking the boat and you will um, start having issues and you feel like you you feel trapped you feel like you want to leave but you're trapped into this situation and you 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 don't see a way out of it for now and it's just mentally mentally draining you and you feel um, mentally you feel you feel uh, in enslaved you feel um uh, maybe that's that's a little bit too harsh but you you're just feeling very like trapped in a way like you you have no way out of this situation you don't have the financial income to leave and to start your life over even though you want to leave and you want your own place in your own life and um you want to be in a safer place but for for now you are just trying to be quiet and not rock the rock the boat and not say anything because you have tried and you've seen that it hasn't taken you anywhere but by creating more problems for you so you're just it's more mentally you're not saying anything you're just just having all those uh ideas and everything um just working in your mind and thinking about that day and night but haven't really made any concrete um, changes and the last week of May with a death card uh, which means which means transformation all this all this energy all the accumulation of of all that energy during the during May it's going to finally come to a breaking point in uh, in the last week when you're going to say enough um, this this is it for me I have to I have to do this transformation I have to uh, change this chapter has to be over it's a karmic end it's things were supposed to be this way this is the chapter that has to be closed and start your life in a in a brand new chapter um, with the death card means transformation you yourself have to transform and uh, re a rebirth from from death a rebirth so um, it comes with sadness it comes with um, death of course with insecurities and everything um, but it also is going to bring you that liberation is going to bring you that freedom that you want to start your life over in a new beginning and uh, that rebirth that you so so much need uh, with a death card in the last week I also asked the angels and the spirit guides from a card from the Oracle of Healing and uh, as a main theme for May for you Leos and the message was positive minded people very beautiful message beautiful card surround yourself with positive minded people Leo surround yourself with people that want the best for you that want to see you happy that uh, are very positive and uplifting anybody that drains your energy and makes you feel sad and depressed and um, talks down in you and not and doesn't appreciate you 
you have to look at those people and try to avoid them try to avoid their energy just focus on positive good people that genuinely care about you this um this situation with the queen of swords is going to to be um heavy for you it's gonna it's gonna it, it, it's going to upset you, it's going to stress you out, it's going to um, put you in a, in a negative place mentally. It's, um, so you need, you need friends, you need good friends, you need good people around you, people that are positive, that look at everything in a, in a positive way, and they're there to help you and uplift you. So yeah, it's a good time to reflect leos to look around um, to spend more time with uh positive good people and uh, and yeah and focus and try to see the positive and try to see that with this with this transformation with this death a new rebirth is gonna come and you will be able to to start a, a brand new chapter in your life but you need this positive minded people to help you through that journey okay this is the messages i had for you for you leos thank you so much for spending this time with me i do appreciate um you stopping by if you like the reading please comment subscribe and i see you on my next video bye bye